The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Hello, and welcome back to Drew's Venture History TV. I'm your host, Drew Darty. This month will be the going over the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. King is known for the fight against the segregation and the event of the civil rights for African Americans in the 20th century. The impact of King may it is still felt today, even though he was assassinated over 50 years ago. Michael King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia, to his, to lovely parents Michael and Ava King. He was the second of three children. When he was five years old, his father had both their names changed up to Mark Luther in order to for of the face of the German Protestant Reformation. King Jr. experienced racism and segregation first firsthand. He has have become friends with a white boy who spent time across the street from the from the King family home. Not long after this, starting school with the white boy, white boy's parents just stopped allowing their their son to spend time with Rudy Junior King. Uh, King Senior has a big impact on his on his son during his childhood. For example, when his when a police officer called King Senior a boy, he rejected it. Back claiming he was he wasn't a boy, his son was. In nineteen thirty six, King Senior led hundreds of African Americans on the march of land in Atlanta City Hall, protesting the discrimination of voting rights. Junior would eventually take after his father in ways in and could never imagine. Even though Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves in eighteen sixty three in eighteen sixty three, there were still uh, barriers being created in southern states that would uh, discourage African Americans from voting right, uh, which which they technically agreed uh, during the Reconstruction era. Jim Crow law literally said tests, poll taxes, and English language requirements were among the the hurdles that King Jr. is secretly to have go, to go over. King graduated with the with a Bachelor of Divinity in 1951. That same year, King began doctoral students at the Boston University and worked for assistant manager at the Boston 12th Baptist Church. At the age of 25 in 1954, King was named pastor of the Dexter Armenian Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. In, in March of 1955, a 15-year-old girl named Carlene Collin refused to give her seat to a white man. This action was a violence of the Jim Crow laws. Uh, nine months later, Rosa Parks was arrested for for the same obvious. These two incidents led to the Montgomery bus of boycott. King took the leadership position at the boycott in lasted 385 days during the, the boycott. King's house was bombed and he was arrested for speeding. Even though he was only going dirty in the tw- in the 25, the arrest made in the national headlines. After 385 days, the United States District Court issues the ruling of the that prohibited racial segregation in the Montgomery uh, public buses. This turns Martin Luther King Jr. into a well-known uh, activist. 1957 saw the founding of the of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. This is where King formed the opinion of the nonviolent protest. Where, was the only way to make the actual progress. King led marches for black people's civil rights, uh, including the right to vote, right to work, and desegregation. King survived a stabbing in 1958 when Isola Curley attacked him during, during a book signing a- event. King underwent emergency surgery and, and was hospitalized for weeks. After five years in in, a, in Alabama, King returned to, to Atlanta on the behalf of the SCLC. He served as the co-pastor on the, the Ambrosia Baptist Church until his death in 1968. He experienced racial discrimination there too as he was arrested for driving without a, a license. Even though he hadn't been issues in, in his Georgia's license yet and was given a harsh sentence for sit-ins that he organized. He also organized mass arrests in Birmingham so that the local law enforcement would have no choice but to 
negotiate. Not all demonstrators were peaceful, but 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 the campaign was success. On August 28, 1963, King led his famous march on Washington, and he and President Kennedy were able to work together to help populate it. Over 250,000 people were attended to to the march, the largest gathering of the protesters in in the capital in in history. At the at that time, some civil rights activists, such as Malcolm X, announced the event, but the protesters made specific demands at two dollar million wage, protesting from the police brutality, laws against labor discrimination, and more. This is also where King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech, a 17-minute speech in which he let out his vision of, of America's future. This speech would go on to be regarded as one of the most influential and icon speeches in, in not just in U.S. history but the world. Thanks to the speech, um, and the March Civil Rights became the, an important topic for legislators, and they passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. He continued to, to give speeches from the next five years in places such as New York City, Florida, Maine, and more. In 1965, a voting rights protest grew violent when King was not uh, present, uh, later being a uh, disabled and bloody Sunday, footage of the of the police brutality made national headlines, and King continued to fight for the voting rights of America time and time again. King showed an eagerness to double down the for the things that he cared about, even with the progress that he had been made up to the point. King didn't feel it was enough. He moved to Chicago to an area of lower income housing to get a taste of what's going on there. He wasn't met with a nicest response as he was hit by with a brick during a march but continued on. He publicly opposed the United States involvement in the in the Vietnam War. He felt the money and the resources could be used for to strengthen the country. This caused many politicians to to hate their the support on him. In sixty eight Cuba King traveled to across the country and in support of the of his poor people campaign. He requested economic aid for the country's worst off. Considering the amount of money that had been poured into the Vietnam War, it's not like it was a completely off base. In late March, King traveled to Memphis, Tennessee, to support sanitation workers who were who were struck due to the low wage of unfair uh, treatment. On April 3rd, King gave his final speech, I've been to the mountaintop at the Mason Temple. The following evening, he was shot at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis at 6.01 p.m. by James Early Ray. He died at a hospital one hour later, marking the end of the light of strongly to, to fell to the rise of others. Politicians and civil rights leaders called for the nonviolent action but the but the race riots occurred um, across the country. The death of King led to unrest in the country, and his killer escaped the prison. He was later caught and sent to the Tennessee, being charged with King's murder. The legacy of Martin Luther King is one of relentless and selflessness, and, and many and may never uh, stop uh, believing in the equal and free America, and the. And he never stopped fighting for the until his death. This made attempts on his life and the testament of, of his tenacity and on Lily Will some of the issues that King fought for the still present today, such as the police brutality and the housing inequality. But there are many activists uh, carrying on the torch of King's pass on. I hope you all enjoyed this video about the life and legacy of, Mark, of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Make sure you tune in next, next month when, you, when we talk about the similar telegram. Thank you and have a great day.